In the previous module, we have seen how to define the Fourier series coefficients that are AKs. We have come up with an expression as AK equals to 1 upon capital T naught integration over period of the fundamental period that is T naught xp of t e to the power minus j k omega naught t. This was the expression that we have obtained for Fourier series coefficients. And we know that using this Fourier series coefficients that are AKs, we can define any periodic signal that is defined as a linear combination of harmonically related complex exponentials where the coefficients are nothing but the AKs or Fourier series coefficients. And this omega naught is the fundamental frequency that is inverse of the fundamental period. And the fundamental period we have defined as the smallest positive number with respect to which the signal repeats. In order to gain further insights into this, let us take an example. Consider the signal shown on the screen. This signal, you can see as this signal is repeating after 4 units. You can see that this signal is linear from 0 to 2 and again it decreases from 2 to 4. So the signal repeats after 4 units. So this 4 units you can consider from 0 to 4 or you can consider from minus 2 to minus 2. So this signal repeats after 4 units. So here this fundamental period see the fundamental period is 4 units. So I have taken the period from minus 2 to 2. You can consider from 0 to 4. Anyway is fine. So this is T naught that is equals to That means omega naught is 2 pi by t naught that is nothing but pi by 2. Now as we know t naught that is 4 we can easily calculate this integral here. Now let us first define this integral. This signal xp of t you can see here this xp of t let us define that mathematically so this xp of t turns out to be equals to, you can see that the signal is linear, so this is, you can see the signal is linear with a slope of a by 2. So this is defined as a by 2 times t and that is for t ranging from 0 to 2. And it is equals to minus a by 2 times t from 2 to 0. You can see that the signal here is minus a by 2 times t. So I have define this signal between minus 2 to 2 can also define from 0 to 4 just because we need to consider only one period I have chosen it to be from minus 2 to 2 for simplification purpose. Once we have defined this xp of t here and we know that this signal repeats after this duration from minus 2 to 2 after this it repeats itself. Let us solve this integration and obtain a case. We know the AK, AK is defined as AK equals to 1 upon T naught times integration from, now we should consider the limits over a period T naught. So I'll simply write it as 1 upon 4 integration from minus 2 to 2 just because I've considered that period from minus 2 to 2 you can may consider the period from 0 to 4 also so xp of t times e to the power minus k 
omega naught t dt now this integration can be split into two parts one from minus 2 to 0 that is minus a by 2 times t this is xp of t times e to the power minus j k omega naught t dt and the other integration other part is 0 to 2 a by 2 times t e to the power minus j k omega naught t dt now this is equals to I will take a by 2 common so this is a by 8 times now this integration here from minus 2 to 0 t e to the power minus j k omega naught t dt plus here minus sign is there 0 to 2 t times e to the power minus j k omega naught t dt let us solve this integration part by part so this integration let it be part a this integration let it be part b and at the end we need to simply add both of this integration and calculate the answer so you can see that each of this integral a and b parts can be solved using integration by parts so you can do that and calculate the answer so part a turns out to be equals to after solving this you can see that the part a turns out to be equals to minus 2e to the power minus so let me write that equals to minus 2e to the power minus jk omega naught 2 upon j k omega naught plus e to the power minus j k omega naught 2 upon k omega naught whole square minus 1 upon k omega naught whole square and you know that this e to the power j omega naught 2 and what is omega naught omega naught here is pi by 2 so that becomes integer multiple of pi so exponential to the power minus or plus j integer multiple of pi we know what is that this one I'm saying that this term here e to the power minus j k times just because omega naught is pi by 2 this becomes pi and we know what is plus minus e to the power j k pi that is nothing but minus 1 to the power k just because e to the power plus minus j pi is minus 1 so this equation turns out to be equals to so a part turns out to be equals to minus 2 minus 1 to the power k upon j k omega naught plus minus 1 to the power k divided by k omega naught k square minus 1 upon k omega naught 
square and similarly the part B similarly part B turns out to be equals to minus 2 minus 1 to the power k upon g k omega naught plus 1 upon k omega naught whole square minus minus 1 to the power k upon k omega naught whole square if we add them together as we have done here if we add if we substitute part a and part b here and calculate the final expression it turns out to be a k equals to 2 by k omega naught square minus 1 to the power k minus 1 now instead of this we have instead of 2 we have here a so this turns out to be let me write that in general so the final expression that turns out to be a divided by k omega naught whole square times minus 1 to the power k minus 1 so this is the final expression that you would get and after solving this we would get a upon So we have here a upon k square pi square minus 1 to the power k minus 1. So this is the final expression that you would obtain. So let me just emphasize this. Let me write this. this is the final expression that you would obtain now observe this expression very carefully now this are nothing but the coefficients of the Fourier series representation of the signal that we have considered here the signal that we have considered here is a triangular wave and for this triangular wave we have obtained a case to be like this that means the the expression now the xp of t the triangular wave can be represented using this a k being the coefficients and that being multiplied with the complex exponentials now this was all for a k but here you can see that if k is not valid as k equals to 0 so k equals to 0 is not valid here We'll have to calculate a k especially for k equals to 0 and for k equals to 0 the expression turns out to be a 0 equals to half using the same calculations we can find that a 0 turns out to be half how can we calculate a 0 we simply need to have this k equals to 0 in the original equation here so if we take a k equals to 0, it is simply integration xp of t and divided by t naught. So that means a naught here is simply 1 upon t naught integration over a period t naught xp of t. That's it. It's simply a DC value or you can say an average value of the signal and if you do that you will find that it turns out to be half 
Now with respect to this coefficient, we can now represent the original signal something like this. Now as we have obtained a case, you can see that this a case now can be substituted in this equation here. The original equation is the, the combination, the linear combination of the harmonically related complex exponentials and we know now what are a case. So now we can represent the original signal that is xp of t in terms of this a case as xp of t now can be represented as equals to let's separate out this a0 component that is half Here I have considered this a0 to be half just because this a is considered to be 1 here so in general it would be a0 by 2 so let me consider that as a0 by 2 and the other values you can see that this is the a0 so this value is a0 and what are the remaining values because the remaining values are other than this 0 that means for k equals to plus minus 1 plus minus 2 and so on so those values you can see that from this expression this k here if k here is even then this is completely 0 so a case for k equal to even number is 0. So we don't need to consider k values for k equals to even. We only have to bother about k to be odd number. So the expression turns out to be so we can see that when k is odd this is minus 2a. So this bracket turns out to be minus 2 and this expression turns out to be minus 2 upon minus 2a upon k square pi square. So if I take minus 2a common upon pi square common and the summation would be over all k and this k is odd. So you can represent that as a new number let that be m from say minus infinite to infinite and now this is 1 upon odd multiples so 2m plus 1 square so I have simply represent this k square term as k being odd number so that is 2m plus 1 whole square times e to the power e to the power jk so j and k is 2m plus 1 omega naught t so this is the final expression What does this mean? The original periodic signal is now represented as a linear combination of harmonically related complex exponentials and those coefficients we have obtained by calculation here we have calculated those coefficients and we found the coefficients to be a k and we have simply substituted those a k's in the this equation the analysis the synthesis equation here if we try to plot this a k so I'm using a MATLAB here to plot this so you can see that this turns out to be something like this so a0 component is half you can see that here I plotted this k versus a k 
the zeroth component here is half and the other values are all negative you can say you may see that the even number the even components are zero so for the triangular view the even number harmonics are zero whereas the odd harmonics are negative you can see that and those values decreases with the k both in the positive and the negative side and you can see that as the signal is real the coefficients are complex conjugate of each other just because ak is a real they are going to be equal for plus and minus values of the k we shall see more into this in the next module see you then